Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Like there's some solo marketer here. And in this video, I want to quickly show you how to set up a community on system.io. And obviously, as per usual, we're going to be using a free account just to show you that you don't need, a, you know, pretty much you don't need any money to start up a uh, account. And it's uh, also it's not a free trial. It's free forever. So it's a good way to kind of test it out. And yeah, once you're uh, in your account, what you want to do besides minimizing my face, we want to go to products, communities over here. Right. And then we click on create. And I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to kind of manage what's inside. It's not the. Uh, the most robust community you'll ever see. This is good because it's it can work in a combination with like courses and funnels and websites and uh, your CRM, all kinds of stuff, right? It's, it can just be a part of like a bigger piece. If you wanna use it just solely for the communities feature, it's probably not the best platform. It just, it's great at complementing whatever else you have going on. Let's say you have a membership, a, a course that includes a community and you kind of have, you don't wanna do the Facebook group or pay another hundred bucks a month for a different platform. Then it's really good, but yeah, we'll we'll sh uh, we'll take a look at the functionality and also how to add people to the group and also some other minor things. Yeah, we'll get to those in a second, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's call it private T for example, right? If I knew how to spell, and this one is the domain name. You can pick your custom domain, which I highly recommend. If you have one, if you don't, it's fine, but it just looks better branding wise if you have your own domain connected through settings. And the uh, path, this is just basically slash whatever. You'll see in a second what I mean. Uh, automatic post approval. I would set it at disabled, which means that you have to manually approve the posts. But, you know, if you trust your group, if you trust that there will be no people spamming, uh, let's say if it's a paid group, there's a higher barrier of entry. And those are only people that, you know, not just anyone can get in there and, and, uh, and post. Uh, then maybe you can do auto approval. But uh, if you, yeah, if it's just a public group, a lot of people in there, whatever, it's just going to, it's going to be a mess. So let's go in and save. So now you can see, again, under the community section, this is our community. This is the link, right? This is the slash, whatever. We could have done something else. We can always go back to settings and we can always change that. Uh, we can do just, I don't know, community, right? For example, we can do that. Save. And it's going to be slash community after this. This looks kind of weird, but you know, just as an example, we can edit those. And if we click on it, you can see there's a preview over here. This is kind of, well, not a preview. This is like just, you can actually use it. Uh, so the things that are, uh, you can see, this is from an admin's perspective. I'm the admin as the owner of this account. So here, obviously it's the home section here. We can do posts. So we can do something like, I don't know. Uh, oh no, actually let's do something else first before you do the post. It's not going to let us do it. Uh, members, you can invite members. That's one of the ways of getting people in. I'll show you another way uh, in a bit, but this is basically, yeah, where you can click on it, invite members, and uh, you can, you know, type in whoever you want to invite, All right? Let's do, for example, right? You type it in, invite, it gets sent. They receive an email, they click on it and they're in, right? So you can add more people in here. That way you can just manually send them the, that email. Uh, settings, this is pretty straightforward as well. This is already what we set up, automatic post approval. Uh, this also depends if you want it to be like a tight community for your coaching group, right? Just to your own people, then I would make it private or you can make it public and people could just join it and there's no, you know, no barrier of entry basically. And this is kind of like a, uh, let's just add this as a, yeah, it's kind of like a banner type of thing. I think I'm just, I'm just going to add this as a, uh, just as an image, but yeah, it looks something like this. And if you go to communities, it's going to show up there. It's kind of, kind of like a banner, but it's kind of hard to explain, but it's just a visual, not necessary, but you can add like your logo in here, as long as it's like a more of a landscape type of format. And yeah, this is the same thing we added at the beginning, the name and the path, which is the slash community. So again, pretty straightforward. And pending posts for you as an admin, these will be, there will be a list of posts, just like with any group where such a thing is prevalent, uh, just where you have to approve posts. They're just going to show up here. You can approve and, and decline them. And uh, one thing that I would set up before the first uh, post, I would click on topics over here. So uh, topics are essentially, instead of just everyone posting all the time, you can kind of post them under separate topics. So let's say like, uh, I don't know, it can be like, let's say it's marketing as an example, right? So we can do, there can be one topic, which is email marketing, right? And then there's the uh, path. You have to click in this and it just automatically generates the path, which will be slash community slash email marketing, right? This will pop up there. 
let's add a topic. Let's add another one. Name, I don't know, paid ads, for example, right? And now if you want to save it, this doesn't, we have to click in it first, and then it will populate the path, and now we can save it, add topic. So these will be every time you post, uh, if we go back home, uh, you can have as many topics as, as you want. You can also edit them, right? You can go back in, edit. You can also delete them, obviously. And uh, yeah, as you create the, the next post, it will just show up here. You need to put it under one to uh, topic. You can just create one topic that says, I don't know, general or whatever, or all, or just marketing, for example, right? But it, I would highly suggest creating several groups just so there's, you know, there's kind of like some segmentation and people know what to kind of where to look. Maybe there's like five topics and they're interested in two. They don't want to see the rest of the stuff. So this is a good, good enough reason for that. Uh, another thing, title, oh, let's just do hello world, right? One of those ones. Let's do that. If you click on this, it creates the path on autopilot, but you can add more, whatever is like behind the slash and whatever, right? Uh, just make sure that there's no space in between. And I think uppercase doesn't work in this case. Yeah, and there might be some trouble with uppercase. I don't remember. I know with like funnels and websites and stuff, if you try to include uppercase letters, it's just not gonna let you. Might be the case here, but it's just, yeah, keep it all lowercase, there will be no trouble. And uh, paint ads. Content, you just write in your content, right? You just write it in, it's pretty simple. As you see, it's pretty kind of like robust. Uh, just really straight to the point. Let's just add an image quickly. Again, I'll just add my logo. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. This is basically where you can just add it in, right? It's kind of below, basically. Uh, well, not below, like at the spot where the where this cursor thing is. It's just gonna add an image so you can keep typing, right? Really straightforward. Uh, emojis, you can add that stuff here as well. So that's, yeah, let's do a little thumbs up in the end, right? Add a post. So in this case, it's a pending post. Uh, since you need an admin to basically approve it, right? I just posted it, but there's, well, in this case, since I posted it as an admin, I don't need to approve it, but usually other people who are not admins, they will see it as, oh, it needs to be approved. And then I'll get a notification over here, right? There'll be a notification, new post, and then I'll go into the community, go to pending posts, and there will be a new post here that I need to either approve or decline. Uh, but over here you see home. Uh, another cool feature that I like is you can go to, if you go to comments, obviously you can respond to, to whoever. And also you can, if you do at, you can tag people in your group, right? At, at this point, there's just one person, right? But you can tag other people in here. And uh, I don't know, you can write whatever in here, right? You can just send that. So you can respond with tagging. And once you tag someone, they get an email notification. And uh, the only thing that I don't like is that there's no, which I guess it's a good thing as well. People abuse it all the time. It's the at everyone, right? They tag everyone in the group. I like the feature. It's a shame that it's not in here, but I kind of understand why, because on Facebook, there's some group owners that abuse it, you know, pretty much daily and it just loses its, its value. So I think it's pretty much a good thing that there's none uh, in this case. But yeah, you can like the comment. You can also, as you do a response, I don't think you can, yeah, if you do just, if you do just a basic, like a link in a response, right? Somebody asks for something and you're like, oh, I have a resource for that. Here's a link. If you just send it like this, uh, it's not clickable. The way to do it is, uh, I don't know, check, let's do this. It's out here and then you select this word and then click on the link icon. You do it like this right? You have to hyperlink text. You cannot just paste the link in here. That's kind of a, a an interesting approach, but it's, I don't see any, it's kind of cleaner as well, all the text. And once you do it once or twice, you get used to it. Click on send, see, and now it works. Here it doesn't, but if you hyperlink text, it works. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, this is straightforward. This is the community itself. And as you can see here, you have the, um, Let's actually dial it back a little bit, right? You're over here in your main dashboard over here. And in order to access the community, let's say you're an end user, you've been, you're someone that's been invited to someone else's group. You're not an admin, you don't own this group, whatever. So obviously you can either access it by clicking on the link at some place, wherever that link is, it's on a website, it's in, in, in a course, wherever there's a link to go to this, you know, you click on it and it takes you straight to the community or you can go to dashboard. Uh, student dashboard, right? And once you get to the student dashboard, you have the the communities and uh, the courses 
all under the same umbrella. So that's kind of a cool thing, which I like. I think it still needs some improvement and there are kind of, there's some occasional improvements or kind of getting there. So system.io is kind of, they're great at um, adding more great practical features. And this hasn't been the priority, but I think there's a lot of potential and I'm hopeful that they will add more, which they've been kind of doing a little bit, kind of like one step at a time. But I like the idea that it's all under the same umbrella, like the communities and the, and the courses. And if you go to communities, you can click on open and then, you know, it takes you to the, which is like their community in this case, right? And you can have a bunch of other communities that you can be part of. And always you can go back, you can click on dashboard. And this is like the dashboard of the, like this free account, for example. And uh, yeah, and once somebody tags you in a group or somebody posts or whatever, here you will see like, a, it will like a, the bell icon will look different. There will be like a notification icon. Uh, like an additional thingy next to it. But yeah, you can invite people to it. You can also set up an automation. Let's say you're the owner of this group. You can ask people to sign up for a, through like a landing page, right? Like for example, if you go to websites, uh, sales funnels, let's say we have some sort of a, just for lead generation purposes, we have some sort of a page, right? This will not be a good looking page. This is just an example. But let's say instead of promising a book, you promise them sign up. Uh, once they sign up, they get access to a community, right? Through a sign up form like this. So if we go back, we go to automations, rules, and we can set that up here. Create, and the trigger will be, uh, in this case, it would be uh, funnel step form subscribed. And we pick the funnel, which is the funnel we just looked at. That's the funnel name. This is the page. Uh, the squeeze page, which is the page where that form is that we just looked at. And the action will be, we add them to a community, grant access to a community, right? Click that. This is the only community we have. And then simple as that. We can also have it as, I don't know, they sign up for a, for example, they make a sale. That can also be a thing. The trigger could be a sale. So uh, where was it? New sale over here. And the sales page. Uh, the sales funnel and the sales page. And the result would be, the action would be they get added to a community. You can tag them. You can put them in an email sequence. You can grant access to another second course. You can add all these things in a row. This doesn't have to be the only one, but this can be part of it. So again, two ways to add people to your group. This is the automated way as part of a funnel. It's just an automation. And the first one was inviting them within the uh, community itself. If we go to members, and here's the option, invite new members. And you just type it in. You just uh, kind of invite people one by one like this. And uh, another, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, this is kind of a cool feature. Uh, nothing groundbreaking, but it's a cool thing to have. If we go to settings, and then we go to domains, custom domains. And here we have whichever domain you're using for the uh, community, like as the main domain, if it's not this one, for example, if it's another one, you go to the three dots, you go to settings, and then over here, uh, login page settings. So this is kind of cool. If we click on it, edit login page, here we have uh, that login page, right? So we can have, let's say this is, I wouldn't touch any of this, like this part. This is all maybe like change the button color if you want, but keep all these things, don't, don't touch them. This is good. Maybe you can change this if you want. And also you can add maybe like a second one next to it that says, hey, you're not a member. You can, you know, click on here, go sign up for your membership or go buy a course that has a membership to get access to that private members community. But this is by default. This is actually close. You can change up the colors, the footer I added. The footer wasn't here. So you can add these things. But in case you break something, you, I don't know, for example, you delete the... Uh, you can't really, well, I guess some things you can't break, some things you can, like this thing, let's say you accidentally delete it and then you can't bring it back. And uh, you, yeah, you can always just go back. And if we go to three dots, settings, you can always restore the default page, confirm. Let's check it out again, settings, edit login page, and this will be the default page again. So in case you break something, that's all good. Reset it and redo the color, right? Let's say the background color was black over here. Uh, black color, all good. Add the footer, drag it in, all that stuff. And this page you can link to from, let's say, your website, right? You see a lot of websites. At the top, it says members login or just login or join the club or whatever. Uh, and you can link people to this page. And then, you know, they can put in their email and password and get access to this community. That's when they log in. And that's a, like a two-in-one. Communities, courses, right? So it's all under one umbrella, as I mentioned before. 
So again, it's pretty foundational and uh, there's not like tons, it's not fancy, but it gets the job done. And it's really simple and it's free, regardless if you're just using it for the communities feature or you're using like the 10 different features that system.io has to offer. If you go to dashboard, right? There's all these contacts, pipelines, which is a new one, websites and sales funnels. You can send emails, there's automations. You can set up courses for physical products. You can set it up as well. So there's all these cool things in the communities that can be like an additional feature. And hopefully it will get improved even more in the future. Now it's functional, it's good, but it can probably be improved a little bit more just to have, create that, you know, the, the best community experience that you can. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you have any more questions, you can comment below, let me know. I'll make sure to respond as quickly as possible. Obviously, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And yeah, there might be a couple of videos popping up on the screen now about more ways how you can utilize system.io, uh, especially the free account. There's a lot of ways you can make money just with the free account. There's no need to even pay until you start making money. So yeah, go check those videos out. And uh, hopefully, I will see you in one of those videos. So bye.